For some opening remarks, we now call upon the President of the Bar Association of Sri Lanka, Mr. Upul Jayasuri. Garutra Mahasangrat Nengasrai, Anikut Pujika Tumani, Nonavar Nimahaturni. Sri Lanka Nitik Sangame Visin, Apage Vyastanu Kulava, Apata Paravi at the Balatala Prakarava. Prajatantravade Saha Niti Adipatya Sambandava Tarjana Sa Prashna Ati Avastavaka E Sandha Madhat Vimata Apagi Aramunu E Sandha Yabuvi Ati Bevin E Prakarava Apage Vidahaika Kamatu Atulu Niti Mandale Anudanu Saha Ekagatya Mata May Mahajan Sabahava, other dinner, Meva Shalavadi, Kadavana Tedra. It a Pradahana Heto Une at the Washem Mirate Police Balatala Hamudavata Pavaramin Gasset Nimi at the Nak Nikut Karante Eduna. May New. May Gasset Neoj Gia Yatate Hamuda Visin, Noek Avastavaldi, Noek Vitadi, Your Balatala Pavich Krimedi, Janata Age, Aitin Barapatalesa, Ulangan Vimak Sidabuna. It at the Atate Api Nitika Sangame, Prakashan Nikutara, Illi Midripatara. Walaupun itu anta, ekisi warga dat perbicaraan yang lebur ini. Ia tatkala ada tapi tiada yang kerana, mi mahajana sabah wak kenda bela, mi prasne mahajana ta awid diri tabamin, apakah ada has terkasih kali itu ikhlas. Batahir itu anu, adi kali na Greek jaya jati kian visin, muli kwasen, yaha pal nis selkin lebuye, yaha pat minisaku visin kerun lebu palanya. Plato ke bid kerah itu anu. Yahapat Pinisuke Pavatma, Yanu Pautna Niti at Galukirima. Ohu Tawadurta Audarna Kermin Tria City Niti Hata Oge Palnak Nomatua Venas Kisuke Palensa Palanak Yate Pavatima Raja Kadavatima Vedi Durakanona Babai. No Raja Palane Niti Anam Ha Emma Raja Niti Atavasuik Nam Emma Tatu Yate Minisunta Balapur to Podipa the Gata Heki Atar, Devian Gay Ashirwa there, Imarajet Himuniata, Yanuin Ohu Prakashakara Namut Adipatia Arakshakar Gata Heke, E. Pratipalia, Samaja Samatama, Eka Samana of Labadi, Main Panagil Karnak one day, Tava Kali cover, Main Bale Labadi at Pudgalan, Miss Samaja Yapat Santaha. Sahaniti Adipaksha Adipatya Araksha Karganima Sandha Pamanak Yudagata Itu Atara Edesha Palnak Ge Hudu Hitasua Pinisa Nodag Noedagatu Itu Bavai Ed Ada Vietem Kumakta Hamudava Rataka Araksha Sambani Kriakana Pradhana Sada Kyakwana Namut On Dan Palne Vane Desha Palne Bali Mani Pasuk Vimaktula Samajed, Hamuda Karnat Talu and Atar, Civil with the Tatuak, Yatate Atikar Lad, Hamuda, Pal and Kramea, Kramakrame and Prajatan Travadi, Samajed Tuller, Seven Lak, say Patriamin, Pautin. Other A member Samajavadi Raja Pura, Seven Lak, Patra, Gos Tibeta, Kalat Samagama, Niti Adipati, Pasube Makdakna Tibuatra, other. Yavadana Mavasta of the Paminata Manushi Aitin Ha Manushi Aitin the Avalangu Kasi Bandu Asimit Balati Kiba de Gusa Ounge Hitavat Udevege Grahaneta at the Samaja Asui Tibeno Samaja Samata Ekalesa Balapea to Nithia Onta Balanopana Irin Own Hasireno Mimani Ostaka Apapagan Yahapata Asaga to a Upper Niti Virti and Vashen, Upper Kalahaki Kumad de Anai. May Avastavi 
මීට පෑ 24 කට පමණ ඉහත කාලයක් තුල මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේදී මහා භාරතයේ හිටපු අග විනිසුරුවරෙක් වන අල්තමාස් කබීර් මැත්තුමා ප්‍රකාශයක් කරා ඊටමත් ඊටමත් වැදගත් ප්‍රකාශයක් එය ඊටම ප්‍රකාශ කරා නීති වෘත්තිකයන් හැටියට අපි සරසී සමාජයට ඉදිරිපත් වෙන අවස්ථාවේදී අපෙන් නීතිය පිළිබඳ ප්‍රශ්නයක් නව නීති අර්ථ නිරූපණය සහ නීතිය ක්‍රියාත්මක කිරීම පමණක් නව අප විසින් සමාජයෙන් ලබා ඇති උදව් උපකාර වලට අප විසින් සමාජයට යමක් කළ යුතු බවයි ඒ තත්ත්වය යටතේ වෘත්තිකගේ මනසේ ප්‍රථම සිතිවිල්ල විය යුතේ සමාජයමය වගකීම බවත් ඉතුමන් ප්‍රකාශ කරා වැඩ කරන ජනතාවගේ මූලික අයිතිවාසිකම් වලට අනුව ඔවුන්ට වෘත්තිය සමතියක ක්‍රියා මාර්ග වලට අනුගත වීමට ඇති අයිතිය හා ඔවුන්ට ඔවුන්ගේ අදහස් ප්‍රකාශ කිරීමට ඇති අයිතිය ව්‍යවස්ථාව ප්‍රාදේශීය හා ජාති අන්තර නීති මගින් ලබා දී තිබුණත් අද එය නීතිමය ප්‍රතිපාදන වලට ඇති සිදුරු මගින් කප්පාදු වීමට ලක් වී ඇත අද දින ප්‍රධාන පුවත්පතක සිරස්තල අයකට මා දුටුවේ පොලීසිය විසින් ගාලු මෝදර පිටි ආසල පැවැත්වීමට නියමිතව තිබූ සාමකාමී උද්ඝෝෂණයක් මාර්ගය අවහිරවනවා යන හේතුව මත උසා විනියෝගයක් ලබාගෙන එය නවතා ඇති බවයි එහෙත් ඔබට මතක ඇති දැනට සති කිහිපයකට පෙරාතුව අප සියලු දිනාම දුටුවා වැලි කොට්ට දහස් ගණනක් අධික මාර්ග තදබදයක් ඇති අවස්ථාවලදී පවා බෑම සහ ගොඩ ගැසීම් කළ ආකාරය මේක වගකීත්තේ කවුද කියන බව කවුද කියන බව අපි දන්නවා හොඳටම නමුත් එම අවස්ථාවේදී පොලීසියට මෙවැනි උසාව නියෝගයක් ලබා ගැනීමට අවශ්‍යතාවයක් තිබුණේ නැත මේ අප ජීවත් වෙන සමාජයයි මේ පිළිබඳ කාට අපි කුමක් කියමුද අපි නීතික්ෂ සංගමය හරහා යෝජනා සම්මත කළෙමු මාධ්‍ය නිවේදන නිකුත් කළෙමු නීති සංගමය වශයෙන් අපිට ගත හැකි සියලුම ක්‍රියා මාර්ග ගෙන ඇත්තමු මේ අවස්ථාවේදී නීතිය වෙනුවෙන් හඬක් නැගීමට ඇති කාලයයි අප හඬ බලයේ සිටනවට ඇසිය හැකි වෝ ඇසිය නොහැකි වුවත් මේ අප සිටන බියකුරු නිද්‍රාවෙන් අපි නැගී සිටිය යුතුයි අප සමාජයේ සහෝදර ජනතාවගේ අවසානය ලයිස්තුගත වී ඇති මේ අවස්ථාවේ ඊට අඩිතාලම වූ ඒකාධිපති අදහස් වලට අප සමාජය වෙනුවෙන් හඬක් නැගිය යුතුයි දැන් කාලය එළඹ ඇත්තේ පූර්ණ විනිවිද භාවයකින් යුක්ත සමාජය අයිතින් හා නීතිය ඉදිරියේ සමානාත්මතාවය වෙනුවෙන් සටන් කිරීමටයි එසේ අප කළ යුත්තේ ප්‍රජාතන්ත්‍රවාදී රාමය තුළ පමණි එසේ අප කළ යුත්තේ ශ්‍රී ලාංකීය භූමිය තුළ පමණි ඒ සඳහා අපිට ශක්තිය ඇත අපිට කිසි කෙනෙකුගේ හයිය ශක්තිය අවශ්‍ය නොවෙමු අවශ්‍ය නොවනු ඇත නීතික් සංගමය හරහා අප තබා තිබෙන ඓතිහාසික පියවර මගේ හෝ නීතිඥ ප්‍රජාවගේ පෞද්ගලික අභිවෘද්ධිය පිණිස නොව හුදෙක් අප සමාජයේ පොදු ජනතාවගේම හිතසුවක් පිණිස බව මම අවධාරණය කරමි might i be permitted to say a few words in english as well venerable mahasangha and other dignitaries of other religious groups venerable catholic priests and the hindu priests and muslim priests as i briefly explain we began this journey placing before the public forum based on the gazette notification that has been promulgated by the government of sri lanka wasting police powers in the army navy and the air force we have seen the repercussions of that we have seen deaths taking place we have seen people being evicted from their own livelihood from the shelter that they were under for decades this in this instance law was of little consequence 
they were evicted by sheer illegal process. The time factors were mostly against them and were unable to get the assistance of the law and the justice system that we have. The rule of law is defined as a restriction of the arbitrary exercise of power by subordinating, subordinating it to well-defined and established laws. It is a principle that all people and institutions are subject to and accountable to law that is fairly applied and enforced. Aristotle flatly opposed letting the highest officials wield power beyond guarding and serving the laws. In other words, Aristotle advocated the rule of law. The World Justice Project has proposed a working definition of the rule of law that comprises four principles. A system of self-government in which all persons, including the government, are accountable under the law. A system based on fair, publicized, broadly understood and stable laws. A fair, robust and accessible legal process in which rights and responsibilities based in law are evenly enforced. Diverse, competent and independent lawyers and judges. The judiciary is the last bastion to a person who has been subject to injustice. It is in such a backdrop that it becomes an imperative concept in giving effect to rule of law as opposed to rule by men. However, the notion of rule of law can be regarded as being safeguarded only if justice can be administered to all citizens equally. Rising out of this is the fact that those who have been temporarily entrusted with the duty must maintain and protect, nurture the rule of law for the benefit of the people and not the political masters. Nonetheless, what has happened today? Army or the military is an integral part of the defense system of a state in ensuring the protection of the state and its people. However, they have no role to play in policing a society. On the contrary, they are regimented to act on the dictates of politicians in power. In this backdrop, society has rapidly been titled, tilted towards militarization. The military rule, which has been enforced under the guise of civil war, is gradually overshadowing the democratic society. Whilst there has been a gradual decline of the rule of law over the last few months, it has now reached a critical point. Human rights, humanitarian laws have been completely disregarded. The entire society has fallen prey to subjective standards of a few who hold unlimited power and a few others who are closely linked to them. Laws that must apply to all persons irrespective of their status do not seem to apply to them. They appear to be above the law. What is the role of the legal fraternity, fraternity in the name of the, and the need of the hour? I shall quote from the former Chief Justice of Mahabharata, His Lordship Justice Altamas Kabir, barely 24 hours ago. In Sri Lanka, he said, it is the duty of the legal fraternity upon its corporate social responsibility to give something back to the society in return for what we have been benefited. Issues of public interest should be in the foremost in the mind of a practitioner. Fundamental rights of the working class, such as the right to strike, right to protest, and the right to express their views through peaceful protests, which are guaranteed by local laws, including the Constitution and its provisions, and international covenants are being stifled by way of restraining orders obtained from courts. Those who are in the highest level of governance are blatantly violating the law with the full glare of public scrutiny. If this situation is permitted, it would not create a dangerous, it would create a dangerous trend where privileged persons would have no law to obey. We have seen sad incidents in Valiveria, Slave Island, Wanatamulla, Nigambu, Chilau, and in Kankasanture. When will that day be to put an end to such lawlessness? 
the appointing process of the judges that was once vested with the Constitutional Council is now vested in one person who takes arbitrary decisions in the appointing process. The seniority, the qualifications are of little concern. Appointments are being made based on friendship and allegiances and these appointments do not do any good for the independence of the judiciary that we are finally dependent upon. And these appointments are also made in total disregard and violation of the Latimer House principles governing the same. It was in the morning newspapers today I saw the police have reported facts and obtained a judicial order preventing a peaceful protest in Gaul face alleging that it would impede the free flow of traffic. It was just a few weeks ago we witnessed hundreds and thousands of sandbags being stacked and unloaded even during peak traffic hours. We know who was responsible for this. The police did not think it fit to obtain similar judicial orders. This is the society we live in, but who cares? A recent issue of the Sunday Times reported that 9.32 kilometers long outer circular highway from Kadavata to Kerala Pitya cost an ungodly 7.2 billion per kilometer. A 26 kilometer extension of Southern Expressway to Matara and Biliatta would cost 4 billion, that is 4,000 million per kilometer. And Southern Expressway would cost 4 billion per kilometer. 4,000 million. Kadunayaka Expressway costs 1.8 billion per kilometer. These have no standards. It may vary from one to another. It may vary if, depending on the people who bid, who get, get into the, who get these awards. It is the rights of we the citizens in the country that are violated by the award of these mega projects without a transparent tender procedure by way of so-called unsolicited deals. But who cares? All kinds of lame excuses are given by corrupt officials to satisfy their guardian angels. They must not make the mistake that the society is so gullible and ignorant. You can fool some people for some time, but not all the people all the time. It is the call of the professionals to resolve, to prevent the further deterioration of the rule of law and urge professional organizations, trade unions, student unions, civil society organizations and citizens and make them aware of the dangers ahead and raise our voice against militarization and lawlessness. In the sphere I just mentioned, the, the, the bidding process that have been completely flouted, where lame excuses are given, it must be made that such unsolicited offers should be made an offence and it must be brought into the law book because the discretion that has been wasted has been completely misused and abused. We in the BSL passed resolutions, we issued press releases, we did everything within our means. The hour, hour is upon us to cry for justice. Though the powers that be may never hear us, though they may hear of us. Let's wake from the fearful palsy. <clears throat> what is the need of the hour, if any, on our individual action? This voice must most surely be heard of, of the wrongs of headless anarchic attitudes while the ruin of a nation are on the cards and on the heads of the people of this country. The true times have come to drive sanity and restore intact in full glare of public scrutiny. Let it not be left to the judges and lawyers near and far. Let's get together and plead for justice and equity, plead for rule of law, independence of judiciary and, the save, and save the nation's life and save it from tyranny. Time is up for all concerned to cry for justice. Not only for those who come seeking justice, but judges themselves who cannot seek, who cannot speak 
for themselves. It is time that transparent procedures are put in place and independent criteria based on merit be put in place and turn our back to those who take positions in the judiciary that do not legitimately belong to them. The Bar Association of Sri Lanka has taken this historical initiative as provided for in its constitution, definitely not for the personal gain, for the legal fraternity, nor for myself. Martin Neomela spoke about cowardice of German intellectuals following the Nazis' rise to power and the subsequent purging of their chosen targets. Group after group, he said, I quote, Firstly, they came in search of socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews. I did not react because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me. There was no one left to speak for me. Therefore, I conclude here, dear friends and venerable clergy, let us le learn from these mistakes and ensure that we, the inter intellectuals and the guiding forces of the society of Sri Lanka, stand up as we have the ability to stand up of our own without the assistance of any powers of other lands or the foreign countries. We can do it. We shall do it. And we shall speak not only on behalf of us, but also speak on behalf of those who are underprivileged, who cannot speak for themselves. And that will be the day that we will be doing our duty by the society. Thank you very much.